Hello everyone and welcome to another episode of uh, Trust in Tomorrow. Today is a special episode because the topic we have chosen is very very close to me and uh, I'm going to today break some myths about marketing and who else than the uh, magician of marketing if I have to call or if I have to call anything which I have doubts about marketing to learn then it, it's her you know I call uh, immediately so welcome welcome Anita ma'am uh, welcome to the show first of all and thank you great to have you here thank you Sondar it's lovely to be back with you you know I have such wonderful invigorating times when I talk to you so yeah. look forward <laughs> okay great so ma'am if you can just introduce yourself to the audience uh, you know about yourself because I know about you if you can just introduce yourself to the audience yeah sure uh, so uh, I'm Anita uh, I've spent about uh, well 30 years of work life yeah. Uh, I didn't begin with any clear, you know, thought that I'm going to be this and I'm going to reach here. Okay. But I think the way life unfolded and gave me opportunities, uh, I really uh, moved up a career path, if mm -hmm. I can call that. It was very um, unorganized, unplanned, but it was great fun because mm -hmm. uh, I started, I, I knew I was creative from a very young age and uh, my mother said, no, no, don't get into all this advertising, ye wo, you will spend too much time and you won't be able to see the world. Yeah. So I said, no, 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 I'm going to do this because this is where my inclination lies. So I started with a small time uh, advertising agency, climbed up the ladders in advertising, spent nearly 16, 18 years over there and then decided that, you know, I needed to do something different. So I went into what was Sunrise at that point was movie marketing. Okay. And, uh, the, you know, I got out and uh, got into setting up my own little consultancy, which never really went anywhere. But then I, uh, I met a lot of the movie producers, directors, actors. And then that gave me an opportunity to come back to Lintas with their movie marketing division. And then from there, I went into, uh, you know, uh, movies and their cataloging with Reliance. Okay. Yeah. Uh, which was big uh, entertainment. And okay. uh, from big, I went into Sahara with television and entertainment marketing. And then uh, travel with Cox and Kings just kind of, you know, fell into the lap. I don't know how I came. Okay. Okay. But it was very interesting. I mean, you know, uh, I guess they wanted to use content and my learnings on content into marketing here. So that's been my 29, 30 odd years of, you know, a journey that I call a journey. Uh, yeah. so it's been fun. Okay, yeah. great. So today, ma'am, my uh, reason of having a conversation with you is that many people uh, like me have started a new business. Yeah. And there are a lot of young entrepreneurs who have started their own business also. Uh, and and, and marketing is something which is very, very important for any business. Yeah. Even if it is a startup or a you know, business which is very SME, small and medium enterprises, it is very important yeah. to have the basic foundation of marketing that what is your company's marketing, you know, foundation uh, is to be. Uh, and and uh, there are a lot of myths about marketing. You know, uh, people uh, think a lot of confusion also is there about marketing. And who else than you to clear right. off? So my first question is that Hopefully. the small, yeah. the, 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 the first uh, point is that the small businesses which are existing, they feel that they don't need marketing. Is it correct or is it right to have that mindset? See, uh, I can try and explain the mindset, why they say they don't need, okay? okay. Okay. Uh, they're actually marketing their product or service, mm -hmm. but uh, their uh, uh, kind of, you know, their perception is they don't need it. So, for example, when you're coming up with a product, mm -hmm. you know, or a service, which mm -hmm. is new in the market or it's solving a problem, it's, it's uh, entering into a gap and you know that there is an opportunity to make profit mm -hmm. and to create a brand that will go long term. Mm -hmm. You know, uh, so that's the first uh, step of marketing that the small business owner has done by saying, I understand the consumer need or gap, you mm -hmm. know, and put a mm -hmm. product out there. Yeah. And it's obviously going to improve customer life. So mm -hmm. that's why the product is there. 
Mm. Now they've also then understood that, um, oh, I'm going to uh, position it like this for the my mm. customer base. Mm. I'm going to, uh, you know, uh, do this kind of packaging. I'm going to put it into this kind of a retail or mm. distribution network. Mm. And this is how it's going to reach my customer Correct. who will pay me that little extra for that service. So yeah. I believe this is marketing that the owner himself as a marketing manager, marketing head, has thought of you know mm, so mm. he's done the first steps mm. he says i don't need a marketing head i don't need a marketing department but i'll do it myself mm. yeah he's thought of the pricing then he goes to market mm. he gets feedback and then he comes back in with him and whoever else is sitting there in his business team mm. and they improve the entire thing you know mm. So mm. I believe that's marketing they're doing. Then they've designed a little flyer. They've designed the logo. They put a name. They put a little tagline. Yeah. So the uh, owner is doing the marketing himself mm. because he's very close to the brand, mm. you know. Mm -hmm. And um, and he says that he doesn't really need that uh, to spend that money on another human being or another team, but I'll do it myself. So that's, okay. I think they've... Um, uh, they also turn around and say, I've realized, you know, that they go to their friends and they say, Are, you know, aap apne network mein bata dije, aisa, aisa. this is what the uh, product or the business is uh, or the service is all about. So they say word of mouth say spread karenge, and people know that, you know, this is available. Fair enough. In today's day and age, everybody, there is a small subset that gets to know. Yeah. But that subset is also researching a lot of things. So they're getting online. They're getting on to say, Achha, check karte hai, website, dekhte hai, kya hai, kya nahi, kuch ma, social media, pe dikh raha hai, kya, you know, basic, basic. Mm -hmm. When they don't find all of this, mm -hmm. then that word of mouth doesn't go anywhere. Yeah. Yeah. But if that on, uh, entrepreneur has been smart enough to have a simple website with simple mm -hmm. stuff up there, mm -hmm. then, um, you know, the the word of mouth gains a lot of traction because mm. they say acha interesting hai. Mm. you know mm. let me now spread this to my set of friends and let mm. me tell them that i've come across something new so Fair my point. answer to you is that the owner is doing it it's okay. not as if uh, he's not doing it he he's needs not. it he knows he needs it he's okay. doing it in his own way you know, okay kind okay. of a thing so so this brings to my second question that uh, ah. anyone and everyone feels that marketing is easy, you know, for them, uh, you know, it's, it's nothing but, uh, 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 it, it can be done by anyone. It's the perception people have. So what is your take? Because you have spent about 30 years in this field, you know, so you, you can relate to it when somebody says, ha, humko to malum hai. Matab, you know it all kind of attitude, uh, they throw it. See, uh, they confuse the, uh, marketing, uh, uh, per view okay. with advertising, okay. you know, okay. they okay. say that what is in this, we will put a promotion, we will do one of the advertising, or it will happen. There is nothing wrong with that, you yeah. know, but the point is uh, marketing, uh, the role hai, or the job that is there is to create a relationship long term, Ji. you know, correct. It's not uh, uh, you started something today and you uh, then let it go because mm. you've excited your customer mm. with something, mm. however small, even with one ad, you know, they've said there is a set of people who said, I like what you're talking to me, mm. you know, so keep talking to me because uh, it takes time for everyone to convert. There are some people who say, Abhi, let me go today and buy. But some yeah. people say, wait, 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 let me check it out. Is there something which is cheaper? Yeah. Is there something which doesn't have all of this? So the, the point is that uh, everyone can turn around and do everything where marketing is concerned. But uh, can you really understand uh, the customers and their subsets? Mm. Can you, uh, do you have the time to research that why someone saying maybe why someone saying no do you have the time to think through that these customers not just sitting in Maharashtra but they're also in Karnataka they're also yeah. here and there yeah. you know yeah. so everybody can do and I think that's a wonderful thing because in today's day and age it's all about collaboration yeah. the yeah. finance guy the sales guy the marketing guy you know uh, everyone sitting together and yeah. saying how can I become profitable 
Yeah. You know, how can I stay here for the long run? Mm-hmm. But then each one has a role. Each one mm-hmm. has their own, uh, you know, job to do. Mm-hmm. So uh, when you start something, you've got to give it over to the marketing guy mm-hmm. to actually create the market for you to create the leads. Yeah. And that's a slightly specialistic yeah. uh, thing, you know. True. Yeah. Okay. So, so uh, this, that's what I see. This brings to my next question that is marketing, uh, it will be or are used or should be used to acquire only new customer because you know, there's a perception that, okay, new customers ka lead funnel leke aana hai, to marketing, you know, kar do. is that that marketing is used only to acquire new customers? No, uh, that's the wonderful thing that I learned over the years, you know, that, um, marketing uh, had a wonderful expansive role mm. so new customers yes when you launched a product you know you put out a, a, a campaign it wasn't just advertising but you did pr you did some direct marketing you did some events you did multiple things that fall into the marketing purview and mm. you got customers in Mm. But uh, uh, as a marketing person, I had to also look at, uh, you know, while there was a funnel of new customers coming in, but the customers who had, who were there with us, how yeah. do you retain them? Yeah. Because, uh, uh, you know, uh, retention mm. is much more important and least, less expensive mm. than getting new customers yeah. in, you know, right. uh, the, 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 the person who's already there, who's got converted to you. He becomes your brand ambassador. He's yeah. telling his friends and everyone that I'm loyal to this, you know, mm. and uh, uh, and therefore he's bringing in people. Mm. Then he's staying loyal to you over the years, which means that he's buying more from you, mm. you know. Then when you have a relationship and we, in some of the categories, we actually went back to customers mm. and we went into their home. So there was a lot of personal care, uh, you know, that one did. And we went and spoke to them. Why do you use this? What if we did this change? What would you do? Mm. And, you know, they said, ha, the, sometimes they gave us suggestions, ki, yeah. you know, aap aisa kariye to iska market hai. so yeah. new product development came from the customer. So they helped you expand your business. Mm. So mm. Um, uh, it was just not about new customers coming in it, but it's also about retaining the people that you have. You yeah. know, it's yeah. also about stopping people from going away. So when you ask them, why are they going away? If mm. you handle their pain points, you know, yeah. so yeah. in uh, in uh, the mobile business, it was called churn. Mm. So if you stop the churn, mm. then uh, you retain the person, you know, True. so uh, uh, working hard to bring newer and newer people in this day and age where there's so much of fragmentation and every medium uh, media yeah. costs so much of money was, mm-hmm. you know, that gets uh, uh, that gets stopped per Stop. se. So mm. I believe marketing is a much larger purview than mm. just new customers, you mm. know. So, so uh, I would say that, uh, you know, ideally people should also kind of create a marketing funnel for an existing customer A uh, to book with you again and to not uh, go out with someone because your competition is kind of, you know, pushing him also along with yeah. you. If you don't knock yeah. his door, uh, you know, again and again with marketing uh, coupons or, you know, referral coupons or whatever it is, ideally your yes. competition will take him away as a new customer. That's that's the... Absolutely. Uh, uh, and if you remember way back in Cox and Kings, yeah. we were doing like, you know, uh, this uh, the people who were buying group tours and, uh, yeah. and individual yeah. FITs, uh, whatever... Yeah. We were pushing them into, you know, uh, food, uh, yeah. travel for food, uh, get the women together, go on women's yeah. only tours, go mm-hmm. on adventures, your yeah. adventure travel, self-drive. So yeah. that's what we were ending up doing in an evolved market. Marketing. Yeah. And the, the whole idea is to stop them from going away to competition. It's like mm-hmm. easy, you know, you're yeah. offering your customer to competition on a platter. You've already converted them. You've mm-hmm. already got them to fall in love with the category and that type of product, you yeah. know. Yeah. And uh, why would you do it? I mean, you know, that's your customer. You work hard. Yeah. So, ma'am, this brings to my another question, uh, which basically... Uh, a lot of people, uh, I also used to feel uh, that marketing should uh, bring quick results, you know, the fast results. They don't understand the process behind it. So how important is the uh, process behind the marketing and what are the, you know, uh, and why should anybody just wait or, uh, you know, push for the fast results? 
and why should aim aim for the long foundation which is created through this process of marketing right see uh, you can get quick results it's mm-hmm. your uh, it's what you start the campaign or that uh, brand building with are you starting it with a short term goal mm. which is i need to just launch this check how it works and let it go or are you do are you there for the long term as i said earlier mm. now you look at brands like apple mm. you look at brands like amazon mm. uh, brands like dow mm. you know uh, uh, even a brand like lego mm. uh, you know Yeah. Uh, these have been there for so many decades mm. now uh, or everyone has profited at the end of the uh, yeah. uh, you know that's what they want yeah. they want uh, a valuation where you can sell uh, your business of for billions and crores and crores yeah but uh, uh, th- why did these brands not do it mm. you know and why are they inspiration for other newer brands like the ubers mm. of the world that have come in yeah. because for the simple reason that they were uh, building they were changing habits mm. they were building a base of customers that they could then uh, move from one base product to others mm. so they were very clear that you know they were going to um, invest into mm. customers because as drucker himself says you know it's all about identifying and satisfying the needs of a target audience yeah. you know uh, so if you go back uh, the new the kids will say kotler was all about the science and the art of identifying etc etc yeah. for the ta- uh, the target market with an idea of earning profit Correct. yeah that's what it's all about yeah. but the fact is that you earn profit only when there is something that will be bought over and over and over again without there being any fatigue to it mm. you know mm. so uh, yes there is a process there is a thing about you know uh, putting something out there and then saying okay how did people react mm. doing research mm. doing planning positioning the product in a or a service in a way then over a couple of years evolving the positioning so take a brand like asian paints you know mm. for me to mm. explain Mm. that it was only paints yeah. you know yeah. uh, and they first said oh uh, 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 colors then they went into textures and then mm. they went into you know the onm campaign ki har ghar kuch kehta hai you know <laughs> that they personified the house yeah imagine an ordinary paint moved in there to yeah. personify that that's your house that's your place that you live and love you know yeah. and then they moved into uh, a persona fine uh, uh, growing up mm. so the grandfather and the grandson measuring mm. and the you know the father say kya kar rahe ho paint and he say mm. but memories mm. tumko yaad hai na tum when you had those notches on the walls mm. so what did they uh, put yeah. you know the value they put into yeah. the paint and into the brand yeah so they created a brand mm-hmm. you know and they there is a brand but they added dimension to it so mm-hmm. that's what marketing does when you have a process when you are dedicated mm-hmm. to say that you know let me uh, you're creating something for life yes. and that can't come by just saying you know are dal de ye maine bana diya nahi what does the customer want wo customer change kaise ho raha hai naye naye unke bacche aa rahe bachchon ke bacche aa rahe how do they keep buying generation on generation yeah. you know because when you follow a process of researching planning uh, you know and then changing listening to your customer mm. you will obviously grow but mm. if you want short term results you can see i manufactured this let's put it out there mm. i'll manufacture something another variant and put it out there you're not really concerned about the customer customers you know you just concerned about your products uh, not looking at the long term your term. profitability but i don't know how profitable you will be you know in the short term too yeah, yeah. 